Hello, Willowbrook. Congratulations. You made it to the last chapter of Mark. Today, we'll be reading from Mark 16. Now, as you can see, I'm standing in front of a large rock formation. I'm actually in my own neighborhood. Down the street right here, there are many lots that have never been sold. In fact, they have been for sale for almost 25 years. And the reason that they've never sold is because of these huge rocks. It would cost a lot more money to build a house through this. These stones get in the way. And that's much like the story in Mark 16. Jesus had been crucified and buried in a tomb. Many strong men moved a large stone sealing the opening. It's early Sunday morning. Three women are on their way to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus. And as these women are making their way, they are so overcome by grief that it doesn't even occur to them until now who will move the stone for them. And much to their shock, when they arrive at the tomb, the stone is rolled away and there is an angel inside telling them that Jesus is not here, he is risen. God didn't remove the stone from the tomb so that Jesus could get out. He removed it so that we could see in and see for ourselves that Jesus had risen from the dead. You know, God is still in the business of rolling stones out of the way. And you can see that all through this chapter. He can remove stones of doubt and fear. He can remove stones of regret from those who have rejected him like Peter did. Now, if you have a study Bible, you'll probably notice that there are parentheses around verses 9 through 20. That is because in some of the earliest manuscripts, these verses are omitted. And so there is a debate among the scholars whether or not to include them. Now, unfortunately, there is not the time to deal with this issue in depth during this short video. However, I do have a few things that I want you to know. First, never single out one small sentence of scripture to be the basis of your theology without finding supporting evidence in other scripture passages. There is such harmony in God's word. And second, I fully believe that Jesus never intended drinking poison or handling snakes to be a specific measure of your faith. I hope you've enjoyed studying Mark. Tomorrow, bright and early, we start Luke and you'll be blessed by it. Have a great day in the Lord, Willowbrook.